very, very nice. So Pokemon is really east. Three new Pokemon from Pilot Trailers, and today we're going to be talking about them. Let's go. Pilot Play Trailer thing. This showed off new items and moves, focused specifically for competitive players. But these things look OP. But what do I know? I'm not a competitive player, so. This trailer also revealed the new Pokemon Sizzlezar. And I like it. People think that there's some sort of relation between it and the legendaries, and while I see the similarities, I just think Pokemon just won't do it. Hopefully that doesn't come back to hunt me. But Sizzlezar is just average. Moving on. For Fi-Eye, you camera video. This was basically a glorified reveal of a new Pokemon called Gorfi-Eye. And this Pokemon is horrible. This Pokemon is a normal poison type, but it doesn't look normal. I hate this Pokemon. It looks bad. I guess the only thing decent thing about it is that typing has never been used before. Honestly, it just feels like unused type filler, which Pokemon has been doing a lot lately. And um, the reveal itself was like a documentary thing of studying Grafii, which I like the way they did it. It's very unique and honestly, actually quite cool. I would like to see more in that sort of style. Okay, let's get into the main stuff, the Seek Your Treasure trailer. The trailer focused on the three main stories that you're going to be adventuring for in this game. The first one is called Victory Road, which is basically the gym challenge when you're coming to champion. It's also just a gym challenge, and it didn't really re reveal too much about it exactly. I don't know, man. It's just a gym challenge. Big whoop. Whatever. It did reveal some new characters though. Miss Sagita is the chairwoman of the Pokemon League, and she looks very similar to Valerie, who was a fairy type gym leader from X and Y. Maybe because she's her sister or something? I don't know. She's also apparently one of the region champions. Apparently, there's multiple now. I don't know. Oh, you thought Trace was bad? This is, well, this is probably 10 times worse. She just looks boring, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know if this is the final boss of the game. Eh. Also, we got Brassius. He's a new type, grass type gym leader, and honestly, grass type trainers aren't too great in my opinion. But Brassius is definitely on the higher end of those. Has sort of this swampy vibe to him, and I like that. He's better than Milo to be sure, but yeah, nothing else to say. It's a, it's a grass type gym leader. So. On the path of legends, she and Arvin are going to be searching for. Herba Mystica. These are items that can immediately restore health once eaten, but they're insanely rare and guarded by time Pokemon. Also, I don't know why you have to venture out to get these Herba Mysticas, because the Paldeans can ask us max potions, right? Hopefully. One of the, these new titans is called Cloth, which is basically like a crab. And I like crabs, so, um, yeah. I cons Considering it's like plot ones, I think it's probably a mythical, but I'm not really too sure yet. That story is called Starfall Street, and it centers around the takedown of the evil team called Team Star. This is a group of rebellious students who kind of just are there, I guess. They don't really have a goal, really, and honestly don't look all too messing. Heck, they don't even have an alternate Team Star outfit. It's literally just they school uniforms to set that they put some star designs on it and some star glasses. Wow. Big whoop. Honestly, it would have been a lot cooler if they had some rips in the school uniform or something, or just like a whole whole team star drip suit, you know? But yeah, they just seem like a less cool version of Team Yale, which wasn't that cool in the first time first time we saw them in Star and Shield. Also, apparently Team Star has different factions or something. I don't know, I was trying to fit this in the strip, strip, so yeah. Anyway, they're basically just going to be raiding Team Star places or something and taking down those Team Star members. I don't know, it's crazy. But how are we going to do this? Well, Pokemon tells you. See if you de defeat a certain number of Pokemon, the grunts throw you at you in an awe battle in a certain time, then you can challenge a boss to a battle. Apparently, Team Star has a fire bus. I don't know how they came for this. Oh, wait, it's a Pokemon. I can tell because it has a mouth. 
That is a weird Pokemon. What the heck happened here, Pokemon? What? There are also two new Pokemon that are kind of sneaked into the trailer. Armor Rouge and Sarilage. Armor Rouge is this Roman Greek Trojan looking soldier Pokemon. And it's okay. It's a bit too humanoid to be honest, and there's not really much cool features to make it, you know, good. At least it's better than C Tiny Tiny Nose for a fire eye. Also, he's exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet, and I'm not getting that version, so why am I even talking about him? Oh yeah, it's because it's a new Pokemon, and I gotta make, I gotta make a video to, to appeal to the YouTube algorithm. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Serial Lidge is like Armor Rouge, but more futuristic. Ooh, gaming computer, ultra, ultra futuristic I spaceships and starting new thingies or whatever in space. I mean, it ha he has laser hands, which are pretty cool. Kind of like Wasabi from Big Hero 6, and I like Big Hero 6, so. There's also something revealed exclusively on the website. Woo! I love website details. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah, Pokemon following you. Return. No surprise there. Also, if you press a button, then the Pokemon following you will turn on auto mode and pick up items and buy all other Pokemon for you. I don't know why they didn't have this in Legend Arceus or any other game, but what? We're better late than never, I guess. But yeah, I'm sorry if this, this video was, like, a bit wacky. I'm just making this video more so for me want to talk about new Pokemon trailers because I like Pokemon. But yeah, that was my video about the new Pokemon from Violet trailers. And yeah, these games still look good and I'm still going to buy them. You will say. Fine Gorilla is still better though.